We are in Highfield Country Park in Manchester. And I've got a story about how fire came into the world. Because in the beginning, there was no fire. What do you think that meant for all the people? If there was no fire? They were cold. They were cold and wet. Nowhere to dry their clothes and... And they would die of cold in the winter. There was no light from the fire. And also the fire would help to keep away the predators. But actually, there was fire in one place. In the far north of the world, there was a mountain. And halfway up the mountain, or maybe it was halfway down the mountain, there was a cave. And in the cave were the fire goblins. And the fire goblins, they had a little fire. And they kept it to themselves. They didn't want anybody else to find out about their fire. But there was one cunning, clever courageous creature and his name was Coyote. Say it with me. Coyote. Coyote. He's a bit like a fox and a bit like a dog and a bit like a wolf and he's so clever and cunning. He said, I know that there's fire in the cave and if I get a team of animals with me, an A team, then we can go and get the fire and bring it back and share it with the humans and maybe they'll be nice to us. And so he needed, first of all, to get an animal that is um, hairy and scary and beary. Well, bear. Thank you. Megan, you put your hand up. Could you be the bear? Yeah. Uh, can, you, can you make a, a scary bear face and a bear noise? And a noise. That is a... Do it again. That is a really good bear noise. And then he needed an animal that's really good at running with antlers on his head. <laughs> Who was that? Reindeer, 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 reindeer. And I've got now a different idea. Riley, you can be the deer. Okay, so you put antlers on your head. And can you go... I'm swift and swift as the wind. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> say it. You sit down and say it. Are you ready? I'm swift and swift as the wind. So we've got a bear and we've got a deer. And now we need an animal that is completely nuts and runs up trees. Squirrel. I thought squir Sophie, you could be a squirrel. Sophie's good. Okay. Here you go. Can you do your action like this? Hop, hop and away. Oh, okay. You can do it that way. Oh, yeah. And then I need an animal that's... Ooh, watch out for uh, Frederick's head there. An animal that's green and croaky. Oh, my God. Frog. Frog, yeah. Who would like to be? And, and, and it had a really wide mouth. Are you, when are you happy with that? Can I see your mouth being make it as wide as you can? Oh, oh look at that. Amazing. So now, coyote. Coyote. Coyote, coyote. 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 I owe to him. He said animals were going to go to the edge of the world, we're going to get to the mountain, and so they got their paws and they ran like this. Are you ready? They ran and they ran and they ran and they ran and they jumped over a log. Well, hey, go on, keep going. They ran and they ran and they ran and they jumped over a fire pit. Well, hey, keep going. They ran, they ran, they ran. They jumped over a forest school teacher. Well, hey, they ran and they ran and they jumped over a mountain. Well, hey, it was a big mountain. Keep jumping. Oh, they ran and they ran and they stopped. And there was an even bigger mountain. And so, Coyote! Coyote! He said, me and Bear, we're going to go over there. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and the rest of you animals, stay down here because you're going to need to run and climb and open up your mouth and do all the things that you're really good at. And so, Bear and Coyote, they climbed up the mountain. Are you ready? You can help me out with the climbing actions. They climbed and they climbed. And they climbed 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 and they climbed. And they climbed. Ooh. And they climbed, they climbed, they climbed, they climbed, they climbed, and they carried on until they got to the top. And there, Coyote, Coyote. he said, Bear, when I say, yeah, I want you to scare all the goblins. Okay. And so Coyote, he crept into the cave and he saw a burning branch that he was going to grab in his mouth. And then he looked at Bear and he said, are you ready? Scary noise. Yeah. Yeah. And the goblins came out, what was that noise? What was that noise? They came out, and while they were coming out looking for the noise, they didn't see that Coyote crept into the cave and he got a burning branch in his mouth, and he started to run down the mountain. Come on, he ran and he ran and he ran and he ran. But the fire goblins, they saw him, and they are fast. You know that fire can move fast. And they were fiery fast coming down the mountain. And he said, I need an animal that's got antlers on his head that can run even faster than me. And so he threw the burning branch into the antlers of the deer. Catch it. Any your antlers. Oh. There, perfect. And he caught it in his antlers and now he can run as fast as the wind. Are you ready? Swift, swift as the wind. And the deer was running so fast and the deer had a lovely white coat. And in the old days, deers had really long white tails. 
But the fire goblins, they crept up and they pulled hold of the tail like this. They pulled and they pulled and they pulled and they pulled and they pulled. And they pulled. Oh no! And they pulled off Deer's tail. <laughs> I, I know! It's the tail of the short tail. And if you look at a deer to this day, cheer up, deer. <laughs> if you look at a deer, they've got little white fluffy tails, not long white tails. But deer, you need to pass on the burning ember to the squirrel so she can climb up a tree. Can you toss your burning ember over to the squirrel? Toss! And over it went. And squirrel, she caught it in her mouth and she started running up the tree. Come on, up, back, run away! And in the old days, Sophie Squirrel was completely white. Her fur was white, but the ash from the burning ember, it came down on her coat and it turned her white. Grey. Oh. Grey squirrels. And that's why you look now and see in Highfield Country Park, Definitely. you can see the squirrels are grey. And she got to the top of the tree and there was nowhere else to go. And the fire goblins, they were climbing up the tree towards oh, her with their the fiery tree. fingers. The oh tree. no, you don't have to jump down the tree because there's an animal at the bottom of the tree with a big mouth. Can we have a big mouth? And the frog opened his mouth and whoa, swallowed up the burning ember. And he kept it inside. He kept it inside. He kept it inside. Ah, it was too hot. So the ember came out. Oh, I need someone else. Patrick, I wonder if you can help me. I need a tall tree. Could you be a tall tree? And a tall tree stood up. In fact, there was two tall trees. Can I have another tall tree? Two tall trees stood up. And the embers went into the roots of the trees and they soaked up the heat of the fire and they branched out and the fire goblins, they couldn't find the ember, they couldn't find coyote and so they went back to live in their Hello. cave far away. But these days, Hello. if you go to a tree and you snap off two twigs, oh, sorry about that, and, oh, ow, sorry about that, and you take the two branches, let's do this together, you ready? You can rub the branches together. Rub, 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 a little bit of flame. And if you rub the sticks together really carefully with a long time, you eventually will get a fire. And that's how Coyote, he brought fire from the mountains. And with the help of the animals, he made the fire inside the branches of the tree. This is a tree story. A tree story. And that is the end of that. Thank you to Bear. Round of applause for Bear. And for Deer, round of applause for Deer. And for Sophie Squirrel, round of applause. And for Frog, winner Frog. And for the two trees, take a bow, trees. And for the coyote. And coyote!